Hi, how are you? This is Natalie Foxhill on behalf of facepaintingtips.com. Uh, this is my eight-year-old son, Phoenix, and today I'm going to paint him like a skeleton. Now, this is a fun skeleton. Um, it's not very scary. It's perfect for little boys. It's not, uh, not terrifying, so, uh, so this is a really popular one. Um, all the products I'm using are Diamond Effects. Um, I have this palette which can be purchased on facepaintingtips.com. It's wonderful and portable. has all your colors. Uh, they come out. They're nice and easy, so uh, very highly recommended. And um, the skeleton is uh, basically two colors, black and white. We're going to gradate, gradate them a lot to give them different variations of the color, but um, super simple. So what I'm going to do is take a high density sponge, which can also be purchased on facepaintingtips.com, and I cut it in half. So we get it a little wet, and you can use a squirt bottle or you can use a cup of water. I actually use That's both. Clean. Sit up, please. Okay, so what I'm going to do, look at me, please. What I'm going to do is start getting the white on Phoenix, and as you can tell, it's amazing coverage. And I'm going to make a big circle around his eye. Another big circle around this side. You okay, buddy? Close your eyes really gently. Thank you very much. Okay, so now he has a perfect white mask. Gentle, honey. Good job. Okay. Now, Phoenix, I need you to part your lips a little bit, just like this. Good job. Now, I'm gonna, with his lips, I'm going to go straight up and repeat it on the other side. You can use a big brush for this as well. You can use like a 12 round for this, um, which is normally what I do, but today for some reason I'm using a sponge. So that's it, that's the base white. This is the base white that we're using today. Now I'm gonna take the 12 filbert that I just told you about, and I'm going to go in with my black. And you don't want it too wet because Diamond Effects paint a little bit goes a very long way, so you don't want it too wet. I'm going to make a circle around Phoenix's eye, like so. Look at me, please. Close your eye very gently. Thank you very much. Close your eye very gently, please. I'm going to make a circle around this eye. Okay. And now, um, I'm going to take a number four and I'm gonna use the black outline. Okay, so what I'm going to do is make a U, like right here on the forehead. He's got all this beautiful hair we have to move. And then I'm going to trace it here, a big line. Down here. And I'm going to trace it again around here and down there like so. All right, the outlining is done. Now what I'm going to do is take my 12 filbert again, and it has a lot of black on there. Um, I love to mix my colors. Of course, you, of course you can purchase gray. Today I don't have diamond effects gray, I have black and white. So um, there's both on here, black and white. On the top lip, I'm going to make that gray, which is perfect. That's exactly the look I'm going for. And now I'm going to take the forehead and I'm going to do the same thing, taking the black and pulling it down into the gray. I'm also going to repeat it on the sides. I know it looks funky now, but it's going to pull together beautifully. Now I'm going to take the gray off my brush and we're going to go to just white. Look at me please, Phoenix. And now I'm taking the gray and pulling it into the white. So that gives it like that great, very 
go. That great gradation, and it looks so good when that happens. Really realistic. So again, take it the gray, pulling it into the white. Perfect. All right. We're gonna do the nose. A couple stitches. You're gonna be done in just a moment. Cool. All right. So that part's done. What I'm gonna do now is take a number four. Give me a please. I'm going to do the nose, which is very easy. I'm going to press and then press again. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna press and I'm gonna press down again and that's the easiest skeleton nose ever. Skeleton nose is done. Next, I'm going to take some cracks and I'm going to very carefully, with no method, put some nice squiggles to make it look like cracks in the skull. I'm going to repeat the same technique on the sides. Right here. Okay, I'm also going to take two black lines and outline the eyes of my skeleton and the last thing I'm going to do is the teeth and that is a the best part the teeth look really really cool all right cracks are pretty much done all we're gonna do is the teeth and then we are all finished with skeleton Phoenix okay now for the teeth what you want to do is start right here in the middle of the lips you're going to make a line And you want a big tooth, middle tooth, small tooth. Repeat the same on the other side. Big tooth, middle sized tooth, small tooth. Perfect. And then what I do is take white and just fill it in because teeth are obviously white. You don't want that gray. So I'm going to go over the gray with some white, just like so. And do not worry about painting over the kids' mouths because uh, this paint is um, non-toxic. It's a water-based paint, very safe for the kitty, so there's nothing to worry about. Little highlight in the nose. And we are good to go. So there is our very handsome skeleton. Thank you, Phoenix. And uh, again, my name is Natalie Foxhill for facepaintingtips.com. And I thank you for watching.